Hi guys, this is Virendra. I am from iDeserve. Today I am going to talk about longest common subsequence problem. The problem statement is defined as given two strings S1 and S2, we have to find out the longest common subsequence between S1 and S2. So for example, if we have strings like ACBEA and ADCA, the longest common subsequence between these two is ACA. Note that it's not a substring but it's a subsequence. So to, to solve this problem, let's start by matching character by character from the ends of the strings. What we see here is A matches A. So we have one character that is matching. So 1 plus the LCS of the remaining strings. We trim out the matching character and we compute the LCS of the remaining strings. So let's try to do the LCS of this. What we see is E and C do not match, right? So we don't have a matching character so we cannot add 1. What we do is we leave out one character at a time. We leave out E at this point here and we compute LCS of ACB and AD, ADC and we leave out C in this case and then we compute LCS of ACB, E and AD and then we take a max of that. So there are two rules here. If the characters match, leave both the characters and compute LCS of the remaining string similarly by adding one. Else leave one character at a time and compute the max of LCS of both the combinations. So if you follow these two rules, we'll get longest common subsequence. There are two ways to do it. You can do it recursively and you can do it in a dynamic programming approach. The recursive approach involves a lot of comparisons. It leads to exponential com complexity. So there is a better way to do it using dynamic programming. In the DP approach, we have a matrix where S1 represents the rows of the matrix and S2 represents the columns of the matrix. We match character by character and count the number of characters that match. Eventually, we'll get the length of the longest common subsequence in the bottom of the matrix. We also follow the same rules like last, if the last characters match, trim the matching characters from both the strings and use the LCS of the trimmed strings. If the last characters do not match, trim one character at a time and take the maximum of the LCS of the both LCS of both the combinations. We also have a pointer table where we keep the pointers of our movement in the matching table and use those pointers to generate the LCS string. So let's start by initializing this, these matrices. So I'm starting here with this column. We see that A and A match. So we increment the count. We go ahead and we see that a and D do not match. The strings in consideration here are A, D and A. So what is happening here is A and D do not match. So we have to trim the trim the string one at a time, right? We can't trim this because we'll get an empty string and then we compare A, D and then what we have is zero LCS for empty string and A, D, right? So let's, uh, let's trim out D. So LCS of A and A, D will be one, which is equal to LCS of A and A. So what is happening on the right hand side, let's look at it. The simple rule is, if you are trimming S2, pick S1. If you are trimming S1, pick S2. If you are trimming both, you can pick any of it. Okay, let's try to finish up the table here. So if we see again here that A and C do not match, so we move, move ahead the count. And then if we go ahead, we see that A and A match. So let's move down. The, the strings in consideration here are A, C and A for this particular column. Where C doesn't match A, right? What do we do if C doesn't match A? We trim out one of the strings. We don't trim A, we'll trim A, C, right? If we trim A, C, we'll have, L, we'll have to use LCS of A and A. What is LCS of A and A? It is 1. So we move this count here because LCS of A, C, A, is LCS of A and A, right? So we are moving the count here. Let's move ahead to this column. The strings in consideration are AC and AD. C and D do not match. Okay, let's leave D. And what is LCS of AC and A? 1, right? Now leave out C. What is LCS of A and AD? 1. Both are same. Doesn't matter which, which one we pick. Now let's move ahead to this column. We see that C and C match, right? Trim both of them. Remove C, remove C. What, what, what is remaining is LCS of A and AD. Okay, plus 1. Because whenever there is a match, we increment 1. Okay, so what is LCS of A and AD? 1. We increment it by 1 and we get 2. Let's move on to this column. A and C do not match, right? So... 
we'll leave out one by one. We'll leave out A and take the LCS of AC and ADC. What is the LCS of AC and ADC? 2. Okay. But if we leave out C, we see that LCS of A and ADC A is 1. Which is maximum? 2 is maximum, right? So we move 2 here. Okay. This is the procedure we follow till we find the longest common subsequence. Right. And at the end, we'll see that the longer, length of the longest common subsequence is 3. We want to print out the subsequence, right? This is where the pointer table comes handy. We follow three rules. If the pointer table contains S1 slash S2, we go diagonally up. If it contains S1, we go left. If it contains S2, we go up. Also, if the column contains S1 slash S2, we store matching character into a LCS string, LCS string buffer, and then move ahead. Since since we here we have S2, we go up. Again S2, we go we go up. Since there is S1 slash S2, we store C and go diagonally diagonally up. Since this is S1, we go left and we store A. Right? And that's the end of it. We have A C A, but it, it's in the reverse order. We'll reverse the string at the end. Let's go through the code. So code I have split it up into three parts. So this is all initialization stuff here. So inside the loop we compare each character here if the characters match and if if the char characters are in the first row or the first column we have to initialize them to one. So if they are not in the first row or first column what we do is if they match following the first rule and trimming both the characters since they are matching and taking the LCS of the remaining strings and adding one to them. We also update the pointer ij to pick s1 or s2 which is basically s1 slash s2. Let's go to the other part where characters do not match. So if it is not the first row or the first column we compute the maximum. Okay. Here we are computing getting the maximum. Right. If it is the first row we, we cannot trim the character in the first row because that is the only single character that is forming the string. We just get the uh, the count from here and move it here so that's why there are two separate cases here for first row and first one okay so the last part is printing the lcs it's basically going to the pointer table and check uh or traversing it so if the value of the pointer call pointer table column is s1 or s2 we go diagonally up which basically we are doing i minus i minus minus j minus minus that way we'll go uh, up diagonally and then append the character of that uh, previous column to the resultant buffer and then finally we uh, we reverse the string to get the actual lcs that's it thank you thank you so much and that's that's the picture from antelope canyon and that's how i feel after completing the video right now thank you